Hello students, welcome to West Bengal English Medium Guide. Today we are going to solve chapter 14 from class 5 science book Simple Machine. We will solve the exercise question answers and also the inside question answers from the chapter. Before we start, requesting you to like the video, subscribe the channel and press the bell icon so that you can get all the notifications from the channel on the right hand. If you have missed any video then please check out the description box or playlist and if you have any queries then please let me know in the comment box. Let's start simple machine. So at first we have some question answers from the chapter. Number one, what are the simple machine? Give two examples of simple machines that we use at home. Tools or devices that make our work easier to perform is called simple machine. Knives, bottle opener are two examples of simple machine. Number two, what is a lever? It is the straight or bent bar with a turning point known as fulcrum that works as a simple machine. Number three, give two examples of lever of each class. First class lever, scissors, seesaw. Second class lever, nut crackers, bottle opener. Third class lever, knife, tongs. Number four, what happens when force is applied to the wheel to turn Excel? When force is applied to the wheel, in order to turn the excel, it is written wrong, it will be turn. Turn the excel, force is increased and distance and speed are decreased. When force is applied to the excel in order to turn the wheel, force is decreased and distance and speed are increased. Number 5. What is the difference between fixed pulley and movable pulley? The pulley is said to be fixed if it does not move rather fixed to a rigid support. A rope passes over the grooves. One end of rope holds the load and the effort is applied on the other end of the rope. It is used to draw water from well. A movable pulley is made up of more than one pulley. For example, take the combination of two pulley, one fixed at certain height and the other movable. It requires half the effort as the load is, but rope is be pulled double the length. Next, how a wedge is useful to us? Give two examples of wedge. A wedge is a combination of two inclined planes which are joined back to back in the shape of alphabet V. These are used either to separate or to hold things or devices. Their edges are very sharp. Children's sorry, children and small kids should not play with these things. They must be kept out of the reach of children. Knife, razor, blade, excel and chisel are some example of which. Number seven, what is screw? A rod or cylinder on which an inclined plane is wrapped is called screw. Number eight, how does a screw help us as a simple tool? Screw help in holding two things together as they got interlocked and don't come apart. So, carpenters prefer the use of screws instead of nails for better grip of the substances in substance in which they are using them. Next, give the technical term. Number one, simple tools that make the work easier and convenient simple machine number two a rigid bar either straight or bent that move around the pivot or pivot 
fulcrum. Number three, an object that needs to be moved or lifted. Load. Number four, the amount of the force applied on the simple machine that is a port. Number five, class of lever in which a port lies between load and fulcrum. Third class lever. Number six, a rod that connects two or more wheels. Excel. Number seven, two or more tooth toothed will engaged in one another that help in increasing or decreasing or changing the direction of vehicle that is gear now we move to the objective type question answer choose the correct words number one pulley or pull is a simple machine answer is pulley number two a weight just screw holds things together tightly answer is screw number three pillars or tongs is an example of third class lever answer is tong tongs number four in a first class lever the fulcrum is between the load mass and force effort the answer is force or effort again i repeat this question in a first class lever, the fulcrum is between the load or mass and force or effort. Force or effort. Answer is force or effort. Number five. Machines make our work difficult or easier. The answer is easier. Number six. The wedge has two inclined planes or levers that meet or edge. Answer is levers. Next. Number D. True or false. A simple machine is difficult to operate. The answer is false. A chisel is an example of wedge. Answer is true. A crane is a simple machine. Answer is true. A scissor is a simple machine in the form of levers. Answer is true. Pule is used to draw water from the well. Answer is true. A wedge is used to hold things together. Answer is false. Lever is of three types known as first class, second class, third class. Answer is true. A combination of two pulleys reduces the effort of half of the original. Answer is true. Okay. Now we move to the extra question answers from the chapter before we start requesting you to like the video subscribe the channel and press the bell icon so that you can get all the notifications from the channel on the right time number one what is machine a machine is a device that makes our work easier speedy or convenient to perform for example if we want to open a metal cap of soft drink bottle you just fix the bottle opener in the metal cap and apply a very little force in a continent convenient direction to open the cap number two what is load load is the object that needs to be moved or lifted a simple machine applies its force on this object number three what is effort effort is the amount of the force that is applied on the machine to make the job done on that load Number four, what is fulcrum? It is a long rod, either straight or bent, having a turning point, pivot or support known as fulcrum. Number five, how many types of simple machines are there? Name them. There are six types of simple machine, namely lever, pulley, screw, inclined plane, wedge and wheel and axle. Number six, what is wheel and axle? Wheel and axle is a special type of lever of second class. It consists of a wheel that turns an axle or an axle turns a wheel. Number seven, what is pulley? A grooved wheel with the rope or belt wrapped around is called pulley. Number eight, what is inclined plane? An inclined plane is slanting and even surface which helps to push or pull load up and down. It uh, uh, in other words, in other words, it is a flat surface whose end is kept at some height while the other end touches the ground, a cement slope or ramp for moving scooters, bike or cars in house is an example of inclined plane. So we solved the chapter simple machine 
from class 5 science book chapter 14 so requesting you to like the video subscribe the channel and press the bell icon so that you can get all the notifications from the channel on the right time if you have any queries then please let me know in the comment box and if you have in missed any video then please check out the description box or playlist and don't skip the video watch the video till end so that's all for today see you soon with a new video till then take care and bye